welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, Butterfly. But you can call me Fly. And that is right, ladies and gentlemen. It is chapter four, season two time, and we're gonna go ahead and get into everything that we need to know, you need to know, I need to know, everybody needs to know what is new with chapter four, season two of Fortnite. So starting out, we have grind rails in mega city itself if you haven't seen those in the clips in the trailers and all that sort of jazz basically if you've ever seen like sunset overdrive i've never played that game myself but from what i've seen of that game very similar to that we have rails that we can just ride around on kind of almost skate off of in a way they're not going to get you across the map as far as i know but they're going to basically be more or less like wind tunnels get you from point a to point b around the city itself then on top of that we're getting a new sports bike we'll get into more about that later on and as well a drift car just sounds sick all of it looks sick it looks very cyberpunkish very neo tilted and it's 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 insane looking so as i just mentioned we have the rogue bike or the victory crown rogue it's the new drift bike or speed bike motorcycle whatever you may want to call it this thing's fast then on top of that we're already getting into the car itself the nitro drifter and like i mentioned you can kind of see it if you guys have ever seen anything about cyberpunk or have ever played cyberpunk or anything cyberpunk related you can already see with this with like the wheels the car design the all the features it entails you can kind of see that whole cyberpunk thing that i'm kind of saying whenever it comes to this now another thing to note is the dirt bike the boat the cow catcher and the chonkers tire upgrade all that jazz is now vaulted so it's going to be a little bit interesting i really don't know if they're going to have this alongside with the hammer yet but we have the kinetic blade here it's going to have a dash attack and of course sort of like a ranged attack and all that sort of jazz then we have the havoc suppressed assault rifle it seems like it's going to be a new sort of scar but better obviously i mean we all know that the scar kind of has terrible reticle bloom so this is hopefully going to be a very good improvement upon that and we can also get a mythic from what's going to be a new boss high card i'm not entirely sure what high card looks like or any of that but seeming to be a promising weapon it, just by the looks of it then we have the havoc pump shotgun it kind of has like a primal shotgun sort of design but obviously it's more modern looking and all that so this one's kind of teasing at a poi rifting in very interesting with this one we have poi rifting in question mark and it's the overclocked pulse rifle mythic pulse rifle that could be very interesting i've never really gotten into using the pulse rifle whenever it's been in the game maybe it's gonna be good i don't know we're gonna hopefully get some good kills with that in this season then we have many 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 unvolted weapons that we all know and love we have the heavy the cobra dmr dragon's breast sniper combat shotgun so i believe that they went ahead and bolted the augment that contained the combat shotgun and the tactical assault rifle so now we're just going to get the combat shotgun as its own and then of course we also have all of the heisted weapons so all of those heist exotics that we had for a short period of time they are back it's going to be very interesting whenever it comes to these exotics and what they have to offer then we have all of these carryovers we have the maven auto we have the red eye and we have the twin mag smg carrying over the tactical pistol my personal favorite so i'm really excited about that i'm really hoping that they did keep the mythic munition augment in the game because that was it, it didn't pop up very often but i was always looking forward to it whenever it did pop around and then of course we have the chug cannon it's technically not a weapon but it looks like one i always love whenever they add that little little gag there and this is interesting so slurp juice is now a legendary rarity it's restoring a lot of health and shield fast and it also restores health and shield at the same time so it's kind of interesting this is we're now catching on to what this possibly means which could potentially mean if you guys have seen the cinematic trailer they did have pois dropping in on top of the map so kind of rifting in through the sky so that could be what poi rifting in means i don't know if that's just going to be something that happens throughout the game like if that's going to be kind of like an event that happens throughout every single match or what that could possibly mean but legendary legendary rarity it's it's interesting i don't think we've ever seen a legendary rarity slurp juice until now now this is very interesting we do have a lot of augments already but i'm sure we haven't gotten there yet like i've been saying but i'm sure a lot have been also vaulted however we're getting seven new reality augments here with this update we're getting dumpster diving so unless they really lowered the spawn rate of hiding places i'm assuming that we could potentially see like a dumpster a porta potty 
another dumpster. A lot of these kind of compacted into one area and really get a good bit of loot without really needing to go worrying about going in and finding chests and all that other sort of jazz. So this one's kind of cool. This one is Treasure Hunter. It's kind of like the flags. Whenever you go ahead and capture the flag, it shows all of the chests and the nearby players or very similar to the drone itself, all, all that sort of jazz. But this is whenever you enter a POI. So I don't know if you could potentially go into that POI, back out of the POI and walk back into the POI to kind of keep resetting that. I don't know if that could work that way, but Treasure Hunter does seem like it could be a very useful one in case you're, I don't know, halfway across the map, you're rotating in from storm. Maybe you just need some heals or something along those lines. You don't want to go searching every single building for a chest or something like that. And you just want to get in, get out and get to the next spot or maybe you're still stuck in the storm something along those lines i'm sure this could help in a lot of ways and it just it just seems like a good augment it's a good idea for an augment then we basically have a similar thing to the chug splash surplus sort of one where we now have slap surplus so now we have a chance of finding slap juice in every chest you open the chest has already had a slap juice it'll have an extra one so that's kind of cool it's basically like the chug splash one that we already get you have the chance of getting chug splash in every container you open but this is with every chest so kind of like the icy slide they just took the icy slide augment and kind of turned it into something seemingly more useful I, I never really used the icy slide i don't even really remember what the name is honestly but the one that gives you ice blocks on your feet for a short period of time while you're sliding kind of give you a little sliding boost in a way this is basically the same concept however this time it gives you a medium ammo while sliding, which being that I like to use assault rifles and all that, I think that this is probably going to be a good pick for myself. I'm going to really like that. Then scrolling down here, we do have medium ammo amp, which is just another one that I'll probably really like. I love my assault rifles, so this is just going to be tremendous whenever it comes to gameplay. And this is very similar to the pistol amp augment. I don't know if we still have that or not, but this is very helpful now for medium ammo weapons. Shotgun and recycle. Anybody that loves their shotguns is definitely liking this one. I guarantee it because you can now have a chance to not waste your shotgun ammo upon shooting. Very similar to the assault rifle recycle and all that sort of jazz i really don't remember my augment names i kind of just remember the pictures I, I don't know the name but i know we already have one very similar to this for assault rifles and then we have one very oriented around the kinetic blade we have this to go ahead and utilize for refreshing a cooldown for the kinetic blades dash attack which is kind of cool i don't know how effective the dash attack will be but i'm assuming it's gonna also give you kind of like a sprint boost so i feel like this could be a good pick if anyone likes the kinetic blade dash and the kinetic blade itself so now we're getting into all the augments from season one that are going to be carrying over so we have light fingers i know what that one is because I love picking that that's for pistols and light ammo and all that sort of jazz so i always love that one and we have sniper surplus airy list chug gunner jelly angler bloodhound i never really use bloodhound actually it's kind of interesting I don't know how often people really use that, but it seems like one that's really overlooked and just passed up a lot, at least by myself. I can't speak for everyone. Then we have Shadow Striker and more parkour. I really don't know why this is back in. I don't think that we even have that hurtling feature fixed yet, but maybe they got it all worked out and now it's maybe back in the game so more parkour could be useful. Otherwise, I don't know why this is in the game. Then we have Key Master as well. So now we're getting into more information about the grind rails. Like I mentioned, these are very similar to like wind tunnels. They're basically focused around Mega City itself. Just simple grind rails that you kind of just skate across and you can also use your weapons while on it. And you can kind of see in this little screenshot from the cinematic trailer itself, we sort of have, if you guys have ever played Titanfall, similar to the smart pistol from that game. By the looks of it, it kind of focuses on your enemy, kind of somewhat gives you aimbot, it seems like, so... Who, who knows, maybe this could be a little OP, we don't know yet, but seems like it's going to be a cool weapon, but there you guys have it, that is kind of what the grind rails are looking like. Don't know how crazy and wacky and wild they're going to be, but like I said, they're very similar to wind tunnels, but this time you can actually utilize your weapons while transporting yourself from point A to point B. So here's what the southeast addition to the island is looking like. A very peaceful cherry blossom sort of just just a relaxing sort of dojo 
sort of vibe going on with this. I, I really don't know my terminology whenever it comes to this sort of stuff. I always find it very interesting and intriguing, but I don't know really any of my terminology when it comes to places like this or any of that sort of jazz. But it seems like a very peaceful sort of addition to the Mega City POI. Just a nice calm area. Obviously, it's not going to be because this is Battle Royale and we're just, we're all at each other's necks whenever it comes to this game. But it does, it, it really does seem like a nice, chill relaxing area just a nice peaceful vibe coming from this area and of course we have sort of that dojo sort of vibe going on in here it just all screams relaxation it, it, I, I just love everything about this and then you can kind of see where we got the teasers we had bamboo in the map for a short period of time at a certain section of the map i don't know if you guys have ever heard about that kind of like around the time of my hero academia coming into the game that's whenever this did get introduced in people thought this was going to be dragon ball z something along those lines but of course it was just kind of like a teaser i don't know if it actually was a teaser though maybe it was just accidentally implemented into the game but that's kind of where that all came from for this sort of area we don't know the name of this though i really don't know this is just kind of the surrounding area of mega city i guess so then another thing to note here is that the environment has been changed snowballs boars wolves crows and frogs are all vaulted very interesting i don't know that that leaves any animals left in the game maybe they added some different ones maybe we get some cranes maybe we still have like the butterflies that aren't interactive but they're still there takes away all the extra bit of life of the game but maybe that won't pose too much of an issue i'm not entirely sure so now here we're getting into everything about the battle pass all the characters and all that sort of jazz so we have renzo the destroyer kind of like this cool skull character that has like a flaming mohawk and all that very cool character i really like the design with this skin and it, it could potentially be one of my favorites honestly here we have amani i really can't quite tell the vibe that we're getting with this character i really don't know her sort of theme going on here with her but she does seem like a pretty cool character i don't know if she's going to be more anime styled but from the image here that's kind of what i'm gathering it's one of our anime themed skins or anime styled skins i should rather say then we have thunder very cool looking guy this is probably honestly my favorite skin a little bit weird that it's a lizard but honestly the styles that come with this the styles that i've seen with this skin very cool we got like a black style then we have like a calico style just a cool looking skin overall so it might be my favorite skin of this season thus far then we have mystica really interesting skin combination going on here kind of has a little bit of cypher pk skin design going on then the vibe that i'm also getting with this is kind of overwatch 2 season 1 vibes kind of i really don't i don't remember the character that it was but it was like the tier 100 skin whoever that was the the design that came with that skin is what i'm gathering here then we have stray it's basically the drift skin but better a, a lot better looking so if you guys have not got drift you never got drift back in the day this is a good way to redeem yourselves get this this stray skin and you're you're set you honestly are set because this is by far 10 times better than the original drift skin then we have high wire very interesting character sort of like this bunny ears sort of sweater design going on and i know she also has sort of this fox mask i guess i don't know yeah very interesting theme going on with this character I really can't pinpoint the main theme going on with her but very cool character then i hope i'm not butchering this or pronouncing this wrong in any way but we have mizuki she seems like a really cool character sort of has this max masked off style just simple designs to her she doesn't seem too overwhelming with everything that's going on with her she just seems very simple and just a nice cool menacing but laid back sort of skin then i have no clue about anything that attack on titans has to offer i'd never have really gotten into that anime much less any anime really we have aaron yeager from attack on titans so pretty cool skin this is going to be our tier 100 skin so i'm looking forward to it. it's going to be introducing this sort of like spider-man web shooter sort of exotic maybe maybe it's exotic i don't know it's going to be a new sort of transportation around the map just something to get us around and it also seems like it's a weapon at the same time so I really don't know anything about this, but it does seem like it's going to be super cool and very interesting. Now, here's a good thing to note for all of you PC players. Fortnite is now no longer supported by Windows 7 and 8. You have to have Windows 10 or higher in order to continue playing Fortnite. 
natively on PC in an officially supported manner. So I don't have PC, I don't play on PC, but just so you guys know, then we kind of have some screenshots here of the map case you guys don't know i really like the mega city and sort of this nighttime vibe i was kind of thinking whenever i did see the cinematic trailer whenever it comes to the day cycle the day and night cycle kind of for fortnite whenever you're playing games it never really seems like there's a long nighttime period i think it would be really cool if we sort of had this server style go on for the night and day effect say they had it at a set time maybe it's one o'clock for me maybe it's two o'clock for you I know that's not actual time difference, but j just for example, say we're at t different time differences, but whenever it comes to Fortnite, regardless of our time differences, we have at a set period of time, bright and early in the morning in Fortnite at a certain time from my one o'clock, your two o'clock, and then for just say an hour long, it goes and spans from day to night, and we can kind of actually thoroughly enjoy the day and night cycles of the game because it, whenever it comes to mega city it seems like it's going to be a lot cooler whenever it's at night we have all of this neon stuff going on we have the, the motorcycles we have the grind rails we have all of these signs all of this stuff and it just seems like it's going to be way cooler whenever it comes to nighttime like see th this is just barely with the sun starting to come up or maybe it's the sunset i really can't tell honestly but it, it does seem pretty cool still. However, you get into this and see this is inside of a building and it looks kind of cool, but you can kind of see the outside and the sun just beating down on the city. It doesn't look as crispy. This nighttime effect is what really catches my eye. But there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That is all things new with Chapter 4, Season 2 of Fortnite. And if there's anything else that you guys need to go ahead and figure out, maybe you want to see what is all in the battle pass without even needing to jump into the game or any other information that you guys need to know about then go ahead and navigate over to fortnite.com where you guys can go ahead and find all of that information and more that's it for today's video though hope you guys found this one helpful in any way shape or form and with that peace out monarch militia and as always spread love radiate positivity and try to smile see ya